Hi guys, and welcome to the 87 overall draft that I managed to get a few weeks ago now actually. Um, I haven't actually got round to doing the gameplay with it for a little while. So if you haven't actually seen the video of me drafting the team, I'll put a link down to that in the comments section and the description below. But this is the team. As you can see, it's an, probably one of the best teams I've ever drafted. Not just overall, even though the overall is insanely high. Just the quality of players in every position is phenomenal. As you can see, we've got DeAndre Hopkins and Brandon Marshall as wide receivers. Both insane cards. We've also got Matty Ryan at quarterback. We've got a decent O-line. And on defense, as you can see, there's not one position that's weak, really. Obviously, free safety could be better, but we've got good linebackers in every uh, every place on the field. It's good, strong safety, good cornerbacks, and a really good defensive line as well. Nothing special on uh, special teams there, but the team overall looks incredible. And if the passing game isn't working, we've also got 98 Emmett Smith in there, who will hopefully do a really good job for us. So if you guys are looking forward to the gameplay, smash a like on the video. Let's try and get over 100 likes for that 87 overall team. Comment down below how excited you are for the team or potentially if you can see a weakness in the team. Comment down below on that as well and subscribe if you are new because I'll be doing a lot more draft videos in the near future but this is the first game we came into and this is just to show how dominant the team actually could be as you can see i use i was using the d-line a fair bit and i like using the d-line because i love getting sacks number one and because i feel if you don't use the d-line then you can't count the screen passes as easily and if you use her in the middle the middle guy on your d-line counting the screen pass is ridiculously easy and as you can see this guy was rolling out a fair amount should have got a pick there. Pretty annoyed I didn't get a pick, to be honest there, because that was an easy pick. Thrown over the middle, straight to his hands. I mean, I personally probably could have picked that. But we still forced him to third and 13. That's not the end of the world. He didn't get anything off it. So we're going to pick ourselves up and go again from there. And as you can see, he's going to roll all the way back. And he's going to throw it perfectly to our cornerback. Gilmore we had there. And as you can see... I'm not sure what to do on this play, so I'm just going to lob it deep. I mean, I've got Brandon Marshall, I've got DeAndre Hopkins. There's no reason not to just try something on the first play. And Brandon Marshall, pretty much wide open there. He, I think he could have caught that and got into the end zone, but, you know, I'm not going to complain since he got us right to the red zone anyway. So, going to go with the fullback dive up the middle here. He didn't put enough guys up the middle. All my, like, uh, if you look at the numbers, we had enough guys to block every single person unless he got a quick block shed. And that's a nice, easy touchdown for us. So, we're 7-0 up at this point. And we only had two offensive plays. And he was like him rolling out with his quarterback here. As you can see, he was. I went for a hit stick there stupidly. Shouldn't have missed two tackles. And he manages to get his first first down of the game. And I'm just going deep coverage against this guy, to be honest. Because all he was doing was lobbing it deep if he was going to do anything. As you can see here, he wanted to lob it deep. Unfortunately, I overplayed the, uh, the route there. Wasn't really paying too much attention. Another reason why I don't use a middle linebacker and I like using the D lineman, I can just focus on that sack. But what I'm doing here, as you can see, I'm pulling one guy off the line just so if he rolls out or something, I'll be able to go and counteract that pretty easily. And he's going to launch it into the end zone stupidly. And we get a nice second interception of the game, Bethea there. And he forces us third and 19, you know, but you can see he's only got two guys deep. And I'm going to send four guys. So one of them is going to be open. I had two guys open there. And I'm just going to take the safe over the middle route rather than risk anything. And then he probably thinks I'm going to lob it deep again. Since that was the main theme of what I was doing. Since I have Brandon Marshall and DeAndre Hopkins. Why not? And I'm just going to go with a screen pass. Which totally puts him off guard. He didn't expect that whatsoever. As you can see we get a really nice block on the right hand side of the screen there. And you're not catching Emmett Smith once he's gone. Especially not the 98 rated version of him. So... We're 14 nothing up in our first game here, feeling pretty confident with how the team is performing. And with an 87 overall, you'd expect it to perform like that. But he went with a screen. He's trying to run all the way back round. Not sure how this wasn't a safety, because he definitely went down in the end zone. And I think we tackled him in the end zone as well. But wasn't given, but he's third and 23. So 
he doesn't stand much chance of getting anything off this play. Especially because I've put four people deep. As you can see, I've pretty much got six people deep at this point. He throws it into double coverage. And he shrugs two people off midair. And he's going to get the touchdown because there's no way I'm catching him there. He's going to get cocky with it as well. But I know at this point, he hasn't threatened on offense once. He just got a very lucky play there. Didn't deserve that whatsoever. And I know I can score. Because he hasn't threatened to stop me once as well. So I'm going to fake hike it. And as you can see... Wide open there is Emmett Smith. He's going to miss the tackle. We get a really nice block there. Double duke him. So he moves to the right. We go to the left. And we're going to get in for another touchdown on our first play after he got one. So I'm going to get cocky to him as well. He's really not going to like that. And he's going to come out and really start trying to score on his drive here. So second and ten. Got an incompletion there. We get a nice sack. Not sure why he didn't even try and throw it anywhere. But he didn't. And he's gonna, we're going to force him to punt, pretty much. Fourth and 22. I was all over this guy all game, as you can see. He's going to fake punt it. We're going to get two guys straight over to him. His punter's going to shrug both of them off, which I thought was insane. But luckily we get a safety anyway, and he ended up quitting out of the game. So that's a nice, easy win. And the second game I'm going to give you the highlights for was actually the final of the draft. And this guy was a good player. So we're coming up against the Dolphins. Don't really see that many uh, Dolphins fans or guys playing as the Dolphins on Madden, actually. Same with Lions. You don't see many Lions fans. But that aside, we'll jump into the game here. First play of the game, I pretty much always put four people deep. And it ends up paying off for me there with a really nice interception. Gilmore again, coming up big for us. And once again, going to start off with a similar play. Going to send Brandon Marshall deep. And... He's going to come up with the classic, ridiculous spec catch in this year's Madden. Hopefully they get rid of that next year because it'll make things a bit more interesting, a bit more diverse plays. But now I'm going to go with a totally different play. Not going to go deep. I'm just going to go with a nice short route here. Brilliant throw and he's going to miss two hit sticks. And we pretty much get it into the end zone, only three yards out. And scoring from three yards out isn't too difficult. I mean, if you fullback dive it a few times or QB sneak it or whatever, eventually you're going to get in unless your opponent really knows how to defend that. And this guy didn't, luckily for me. So I'm going to get a nice early touchdown in the game. And he started with the ball, which is big. Because that means it's one position game already and I get the ball at half, which is massive. So he's going to roll out here, make a brilliant throw on the run. I mean, I didn't expect that whatsoever. I thought I'd shut him down enough. I put him under enough pressure. They make a bad run or a bad read or something. But he kept his composure and he got a nice first down there. So this guy's making good reads, as you can see. That was a really good read. But my defender manages to hit him out of bounds as he's in midair. And he didn't manage to get the conversion. But he's still working his way upfield. Second and six on my 31. Throws it into quadruple coverage. And we don't actually come up with anything. I was hoping, you know, we get some sort of interception there or something like that. But at least we got the stop. So, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world. He didn't spec catch it on four people, which is what you see a lot of guys doing this year. And I gambled on the run there. I thought he was going to go with the run, but he play-actioned it. Threw it to the left-hand side. But luckily, we managed to lock that up. But my guy here, as you can see, is first and goal. My red zone defense is terrible. And he's just going to launch it up to a one-on-one -on -one coverage. Come down with it and get... Probably one of the easiest touchdowns he's ever going to get there. So, once again, I'm going to lob it deep. There are a few people that were open. Well, it wasn't anyone that was clearly open, but that was probably the worst person I could have passed to them. But I thought I'd give Marshall a go since he's so overpowered in the game. Hopefully he come up with it, and he didn't, and he manages to get an interception. So, that pretty much takes away my first interception in the game, and it starts fresh, him with the ball. I get bought half, and we'll just go from there. And that was the first time... He'd run it in the game, and I didn't expect it. And he's going to get a nice, very nice read there. Probably the perfect throw. And like I said, once you're on the one-yard line, three-yard line, it's near enough impossible to stop your opponent unless you send it the perfect blitz. And I didn't. He manages to get in, so he's up a score. But since we get bought half, I know if I score here, I'll be, able, I'll, I'll be up possession pretty much, which is what I wanted. And... I hadn't run it too much in this game either. So I'm going to give Emmett Smith a go. As you can see, there's a little bit of lag. We managed to find the hole. And I think if I duped right there, I would have been gone. So it wasn't the best play by me. But I noticed some holes in his defence. So I'm going to hurry it up. 
and I'm going to send some people deep. Since he didn't have enough people defending deep, one of my guys should definitely be open. And as you can see, X there is wide open. And I think we get really unlucky there not to get a touchdown because he was gone, but it was just that, that weird shoelace tackle as well. But I'm not going to complain since we're coming towards the end zone. As you can see, X is so open there once again. We're going to throw it right to the corner. That's a classic NFL touchdown, that one. That's the one you see week in, week out, people do. Lob it into the corner for a guy who's open. And we're going to even the game up. So moving a little bit further on, my guy here is trying to make his way upfield just that little bit. He was loving the mesh play or the routes like that, the out routes. He was loving them. And at this point, for some reason, he got to the midway and he thought, I've had enough of this game. So he ended up quitting. So we actually managed to win the draft in not the most dramatic fashion in the world, but we still managed to win it with the 87 overall team. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, smash like on the like button, like I said. Actually, let's try and get over 87 likes for the 87 overall team. Comment down below on what weaknesses you potentially saw in the team. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another draft video.